Lee, thanks for inviting us down to Hastings today to interface precision engineering. Um, it's fair to say we're here to, we're here to look at this star machine, and it's fair to say this is your first machine. You've, if you had three feet, you've, you've jumped in with all of them, haven't you? This is quite a complex machine. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've gone right in for it at the uh, high end. So yeah, it's been good. And, and when I say that, just for our viewers, what is high end? How many axes has this machine got? It's a 20 mil bar machine. Can you go bigger? Just give us a bit of an overview of the actual machine we've got. Yeah, sure. We've um, we've gone um, for the 20 mil bar machine. However, we've, got, we've bought the extension, the optional extra. So we've gone to 22.278 diameter. So we've gone for the um, 41 tool option. So we have a nine axis um, and the programmable B axis. I was going to ask you about that. You've got the programmable B axis. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a very, very uh, highly specced machine, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we went for the high end. We thought if we're going to go for it, we're going to, we're going to go for it properly. This is the first time we've been into this market. So, you know, why not go in at the top and, and see if we go from there? Well, well, let's go into that because this is your first slide in head lay. This is the, yeah. the, 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 the first time, like you said, you've been into this market. What brought you to this? Um, we looked at some current jobs that were running and we felt that we could um, get the, uh, the cycle times down dramatically with this sort of option. Also, we wanted to automate our approach uh, to a greater extent as well. So this has really given us that, the ability to do that. And would you have any examples of success stories that have achieved uh, what you're suggesting? Yeah, so as an example, the first job that we did on this machine was a 20 mil diameter part with uh, two holes in it. And we were running that as two separate operations before on our, on our old model of doing the job. Um, now we're running it on this machine here and it's reduced the cycle time down from a four minute cycle time down to a one minute, five seconds. And we actually think with experience, we'll be able to reduce that even more. And is that a complete part then? Are you doing that part in one hit? Yeah, so that's a complete part, um, completely finished, deburred, off the machine in one go. And then all it's got to do is doing, doing is cleaning and then out the door. So are you running this machine lights out at the moment? Not at the moment we're not. We're going to gain some experience and then run it lights out in a month or two's time. Uh, Lee, I'm going to go and pick one of these parts up here that's coming off of this uh, parts conveyor. Tell me about that then as a component. W what is it and uh, how do you go about making it and why is it yeah. faster? Okay, so this, uh, this part here we've been making for a number of years for, our, for one of our customers. Um, and we received an order for two or three hundred at a time, as we do. Um, and we were doing this on two, two separate operations in the past. So we were machining one side and then we were passing the job off, manually picking up the job, holding it again in a collet and finishing the second side. So we had a combined cycle time of around four, four and a half, four minutes. Um, and now we're machining this in one go, unmanned, on this machine here and it's, um, it's now 40 second cycle time. The previous way of doing that, you could have, you could have introduced uh, a lot of issues by moving that part around. Not easy to move a delicate component like, no, like that around. Absolutely not. So what we're doing is, is you've obviously got the, the human error in that. You've got the fact that the guy's loading the, the component and then he's setting one running and then he's going away, he's coming back. So you're wasting a lot of cycle time, but also the concentricity between the end pip on the end here and the, and the, 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 the spigot on the back is, uh, is, a, is a really critical point. So we were having to bore out collets and all sorts of things. Well, now we're doing this in one operation, absolutely spot on. So. What's the sort of stock material removal on there? The stock size for this material is 12 mil diameter. Um, we're taking this on the initial down to 11 and then it's machining it down here to, to 8 mil. So. You did say to me earlier as well that you went for the 20 mil, but a, a bigger machine might be on your agenda in the future. Yeah. That would suggest to me that, that you've actually kind of this has been a real success for you. Yeah, this has been in now for about a month, maybe six weeks. Um, the success of this has been, I mean, I knew this was going to be a, a good, good thing for us to do, but it's actually been a really, really good thing to, to, for us to do. Basically, the next machine up, the 38, will be where we go next. Um, and that will, that will then give an advantage for the bigger parts that we've got. Because I, I looked at that part, and again, I'm not being critical of your, your, manu, your manufacturing here in any way, shape or form, but that doesn't have the complexity that this machine can potentially no offer you for component manufacture. Yeah. What, what, what's your sort of thoughts on that? Well, we've got some complex parts that we're, well, we're currently get, gaining some experience and we've got some more complex parts that we're going to be able to put on there. And I think one of the major reasons for going for the B axis was the, the programmable B axis was the more complex parts that we've got. We've got a suite of parts that are milled um, with angled holes and lots of tight fe milled features. So we're going to be, we're going to be putting those on there. I like the attitude because it's all too frequent we go into companies and they buy machines that just fit exactly what they're doing or they don't want to really push the boat out no. and go for 
to, to expand their, yeah. their opportunities, but you've done exactly that here. Yeah. I want to come back to another point. Why Star? Tell us about that, that, that relationship where it started and why this machine is the one that you selected. Okay, so we selected this machine uh, based on the fact that we felt it, was gonna, it would give us the widest range of components that we could put on here. Uh, we've got a number of parts that we would consider very low quantities, maybe five, maybe ten off, maybe even a three off. And we feel that by, even by putting those, those sort of jobs on here, even though it's functionally can be used for very high quantities, the smaller quantity parts will be benefit on here because we'll be able to reduce the operations. So whereas the job was before, it was um, maybe four or five operations on a complex part, we can now do in one operation on here with a similar amount of programming, so similar programming time. And, and I know there's a bit of history, this is what, one of the things we're trying to get out here, there's a bit of history behind the purchase of this machine. Yeah. You, you, you did a lot of exploring, you, yeah. you, you really yeah, did look did. at what your options were yeah, available we to you. So I want to know why, why this machine is the one that was actually selected, maybe not just this model, but this brand. Uh, we, we went up to Star GB, uh, we went to Derby, just went a look around their facility, um, we had a good chat with the sales guys and the applications guys up there. Um, I also visited some uh, engineering companies that can be classed as rivals, but they're you know, partners really, we would describe. Um, went to visit them and been to a few machine shops that have, had, that have got these sort of machines. And by far the star was the, was, was the one that everyone basically recommended. So. And what do you put that down to? Do you put that down to the fact that this can outperform others? Do you put this down to the fact that, uh, you know, maybe the reliability, the, the, the brand name, the longevity of, of how many machines are out there in the market. Are those factors? Uh, most definitely, yes, yeah, definitely. The support and the uh, after-sale service that I've been informed that you get, um, has, I hear is second to none. So we need the support. This is the first time we've been into this market. We need the support of, this, of the company that we're buying it from. Um, if we've got problems, we need to be able to phone them up. Now, in the first six weeks, we've not had any major problems. We've had a few issues where we've phoned them and asked for some support, programming support. Um, how do we do this? How do we do that? And they've been absolutely perfect with that. No problems whatsoever. And one of the other features on this machine is, is the guide bush, non-guide bush. Yeah. Was that an attraction? It was. It, it gave us, the, it gave us a, 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 lot of, a lot more scope for what jobs we can do. Um, so that was, that was definitely an attraction. And have you used it in both forms? We've only currently used it as it is set up, which is in guide push mode. Um, but we, you know, it gives us the option to change it if we need to. How, how about the control and the programming for you? Again, new, new to this arena, has that been easy? Uh, yes, as we've had some great training from the guys at Star. Uh, we had three of our guys go up to Star, uh, spent four days up in Derby. We then had programming support here on site. So we had three days on site following the commissioning of the machine. Um, so yeah, it's been, been really good actually, really good support from us. And I can understand this. Um, there are the board members of your company and, and including yourself, yeah. before you made this purchase, we're exploring both new and used options. Yeah. Used quickly got pushed to one side. Yeah. Yeah. What were the reasons for that? Well, I presented to, to the, the uh, other shareholders that we, what, what, would we, what would we do, what would, machine would we go for. We decided to, I propose new, clearly the question, whenever you speak to people who are dealing with the money side of things, is, um, is there a used option? We, kept, as you say, quickly put that to bed due to the fact that we wanted the support. It was support that was a vital part of it. We may go used in, in the future if we've got a few machines down the line, but the early days we need the support you know that's what we're buying we're buying a, a whole product not not just the product you see behind me here but the whole service if you like the whole package so and looking at the the improvements in cycle times it's, it's quite frightening what this machine might be able to do for you isn't yeah. it yeah absolutely i mean the job that's currently running has been reduced down from nearly five minutes down to a 40 second cycle time that's just fantastic but we're, and we're looking at this and we're we're saying actually that should be reduced even further um but yeah i mean it's it's been frightening what the the how fast the machine is. So, yeah. you, on, on the cutting fluids element and, and high pressure coolant, just do you have any uh, thoughts on those? We've not gone for the high pressure coolant with this particular one here. Um, it's an option that we were, think we may need to add in the future. Um, so yeah, that's something which we might add uh, coming up. We're looking at some jobs now that we didn't have before we made the purchase. And because we're now getting into that market, we're thinking that the uh, the high pressure coolant will be an advantage. So yeah, it's good to have that long bar feed. So it does mean when you want to go lights out, you can just Absolutely. fill it with bars, yeah. press the button, and off yeah. you go. Absolutely. So it's 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 good. It's good.
Good stuff. Yeah. Good luck with it. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you. Mel, how far has this business come in recent years? I joined the company two and a half, three years ago. At that point, it was a bit down on its luck. We were turning over in the region of around £700,000, uh, making small losses, which are covered from, by the group. Uh, in the last two years, that's doubled now. We turn over one and a half million. We've got ambitious plans to grow that to 2.2 .2 this year, and it looks quite likely at the moment. And you're not making losses now? No, no, far from it. What, 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 what do you put it down to, other than yourself? <laughs> Uh, other than myself, I think it's the motivation of the board, the engineers, uh, and Lee, the uh, production director. Lee bought fresh ideas with him a couple of years ago that were well backed by the board um, before I joined. Uh, that was the introduction of a few of the uh, live tool laves, uh, the CNC mills, and most recently the Star. Um, couple that with faster quote turnarounds, uh, times, an active sales force. We've got two or three guys out on the road now. It sort of, you know, raised awareness of what we can offer as a business. What do, you, what do you think your customers think of you? Originally, I think we were seen as a, a company that offered a niche, difficult to machine materials, um, low volume. I think that's developed now. We're still well known and take great pride in that sort of work. But we're now seen as a sort of one-stop shop, really, for sheet metal, precision machine components and electronics. Uh, you're a director in this company. Five years down the line, how many more of these sorts of machines are we going to see in here? Would you anticipate or hope? I think that's a broad question. Um, I'd like to see the business double again over the next five years. I would anticipate seeing another one of these in the next six to 12 months and possibly another two the year after. Uh, across five years, I'd suggest maybe seven or eight. It might, might seem like a bit of a strange question, but are you fussy at the type of work that you do? We're having to get a bit more so at the moment, um, coping with a record order book. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a nice position to be in. Um, not one You're obviously doing a good job. I think so. I like to think we are offering a good service and um, putting the plant and staff and around us to be able to continue that moving forward.